Hello everyone, welcome to part 161 of Laravel 10 series in which we are creating the e-commerce website. So in this video, we are going to send tracking details to the customer. Okay, order tracking details to the customer. Okay, I'm also going to mention here, oh, send order tracking details. Okay, uh, and also that details we are going to send whenever the admin updates the order status to ship. Okay, so here whenever we uh, whenever the admin or client updates the order order status to ship uh, and along with that uh, ship status the admin will also enter the current name as well as the tracking number so once he will click on update then these status will get saved and will also be sent to the customer with the other order details like uh, we are sending the order email to the customer now uh, we will also send these tracking details along with these order details okay so here we are going to mention the order status uh, that tracking number uh, that coded partner and tracking number okay so these three things we are going to add it here as well along with the uh, that courier link as well uh, okay for the members okay so uh, here uh, we are going to modify these things and we'll send another mail uh, whenever the order sh order gets shipped okay so I'm going to modify the code now. We'll close the all area files and uh, we'll open the order controller here at admin. And now here, see, update order status. So um, we are going to modify this function and we are going to send the email. I'm going to open the product controller as well. We are, we are sending the order email because our email is identical or is almost similar to that. So we are going to open the checkout function. I think this is uh, not uh, the exact product controller that we want to open. Uh, we want to open the product controller at admin uh, uh, Yeah front. Okay, so here uh, I will open that uh, checkout function and Here we are sending the order email after Yeah, here we are sending uh, So I'm going to copy this one this complete email. It will save our time and we'll paste here uh, after updating the order status, after updating the current name and tagging number, after inserting the order status in order log, uh, and then we are going to send uh, send order status email, okay, or send order shipped email. So here you can see update current name and tagging number. So here also we can able to send. So I'm going to uh, remove from here and we can also send there because at the time of updating of these two we are going to send the another mail to the customer with these details okay so here send order shipped mail we can write send order shipped mail with tracking details with tracking details okay send order shipped mail to customer so here we are taking the order details okay and after taking the order details we are send order shipped email i'm going to add send order shipped email and email is fine and then email name order id order order details and other than this one more thing order status order status and also we can uh, send that uh, because straight away we can use that uh, data order status And two more things we are going to add Korean name as well as the tracking number okay so Korean name as well as the tracking number fine so uh, here uh, we will add here uh, tracking details order shipped order shipped okay order shipped is enough i think uh, here we can add tracking details in the side okay so anything you can uh, select the subject of your choice okay uh, or see inside we can do tracking details order shipped tracking details sadmakers.in so here are the another email is uh, i'm going to add here shipped underscore order shipped underscore
underscore order so I'm going to open that email that we have earlier worked on uh, order dot blade dot php this is the email that we have copied from the third party okay and I'm going to save this email as shipped underscore order or what whatever it is it is I think we have given here shipped underscore order yeah copy file save as shipped underscore order save and here uh, we are going to modify this one uh, see earlier email that we are we are required to modify after order number and order date date uh, after order number and order date and here we are going to add one more tr here this time and here we are going to add uh, two more things that are the uh, in fact three more things we can add order status also we can add okay uh, like order status uh, we will add as uh, here, here we are we are sending the order status okay order status and after that we are going to send the uh, Korean name Korean name also we are sending from there I'm going to move this one Korean name and uh, like this I'm going to copy this one and we'll also add here the tracking number fine all three we able to add order status Korean name as well as the tracking number okay if there is the tracking link then you can also send the tracking link, link as well okay so uh, now we are going to check that the email is going or not uh, I am going to uh, refresh once uh, okay and will now click on shift once again and uh, here I am going to add uh, that uh, uh, courier uh, name as well as the tracking number and we will click on update uh, see there is some issue we need to see okay so see actually we have copied from there so here the order id is coming like this okay so make sure that you will not make this mistake so now it seems to be fine so now we can continue click on continue and one more thing we are required to add auth at the top as well use auth i think one more thing we are required to add email okay so the another error will come because we have not add the mail class so that also required at the top we are going to add it anywhere you can add at the top okay no issue click on continue and now the another one okay see see auth is not required it's the admin part of the admin so auth is uh, not uh, uh, okay so here also the email must be fast we need to fetch it from the order details from the uh, so we can simply do it like this i'm going to pick this order details and here uh, see uh, here in user and then email okay so it will come up here and also in the case of name uh, we will uh, fetch from name okay i'm going to copy this one and we'll use here and here we are going to use like this okay so now it will it must work fine let's see i'm going to refresh once again click on continue and still there is some issue order id so here also uh, we require to add this order id instead of this one i'm going to add it like this so let's see continue click on continue and i hope that this time the email will go and it is taking time it seems that email it is sending the email and let's see yes and order status has been updated successfully and we're going to see yes it updates the shipped and the email we're going to see that yes order is shipped email has come up with the tracking details and here you can see order status courier name as well as the tracking number 
we have sent to the customer along with the other details okay so here you can see the uh, order status as well as the courier name as well as the tracking number we able to send to the uh, to the customer okay and here also you can mention one line as well uh, that order has been shipped with the below uh, below courier be below uh, below tracking details okay anything you can write then this shipped status is not required here if you want to write one line here then after that line you can mention the courier name as well as the tracking number okay so uh, because this is the shipped order email uh, so uh, see uh, so it's not required like the order status uh, is not mandatory to show here so we can also remove this order status okay uh, like if i will remove this order status uh, we can just keep it like this uh, but one line that we can add here uh, like uh, your uh, order has been shipped with below tracking details okay we can check once that how it looks and also we will see that no error must come now okay i will click on shift and we'll add the fedex here and we'll add uh, some number tracking number and now we'll wait for few seconds see this time the email is going here we can also show that uh, loader as well okay uh, so see here the order status has been updated successfully so i'm going to check yes we have got the another mail and this time you can see uh, it, the message is here your order has been shipped with below tracking details courier name as well as the tracking number okay so we can show it like this also or we can add it like uh, in such a way so it's your choice also we can add one row here as well like we are showing these rows and one more row we can show here as well so you can modify this order email template as per your own choice so uh, in the next video we will start working on the order invoice html order invoice then pdf order invoice and uh, many other things we are going to do okay so stay tuned for the next video and do subscribe as well as the join the channel to get the complete source code uh, so uh, you are required to open this tag developer youtube channel and please subscribe as well as join the channel to get the complete source code so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye